Hi, I'm Mary Rambin. In today's Burn 100 series, we're gonna burn 100 calories in two circuits with no equipment. Now you've got the option to have two water bottles next to you to use as little hand weights. All they're gonna do is help you bring focus. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start off with mountain climbers. So your hands are basically on the floor, your shoulders right above them, and then you're gonna bring your knees with force into your chest. Now you're gonna pull your navel to your spine, which allows your lower back to relax. So there really shouldn't be any tension in your back. Pulling in as quickly as you want or as slowly as you want, okay? Start off at a level. We're just trying to get your heart rate up and the blood pumping. Next, you're gonna turn over really quickly and do bicycle crunches. Again, at your own pace. Instead of thinking about taking your knee to your opposite elbow, think about bringing your shoulder to your knee. That'll help keep your core engaged and your shoulder blades off the floor. So just have a couple more. Three, two, one. Switching it up really quickly to a push-up. So a push-up can be hard for some of us. If you need to take it on your knees, go ahead. I'm gonna start off on my toes. Push down, and then we're gonna add a side plank, okay? When you roll out, squeeze those rhomboids, which are the muscle group right in between your shoulder blades. It's what helps you keep good posture. If you happen to lose your balance, don't worry, you can open up your legs. Helps make it easier. Let's get one more in before we hit to burpees. So you stop right here. Then you just wanna tuck your knees in and jump up. This is a standard burpee, so much fun. I have no idea why they call this a burpee, but it doesn't matter because it just does the job. Gets our heart rate up, uses every muscle in our body, whew, and really gets it going. So if you get winded, you're doing it right. If you need to slow down, I totally get it. Step back, step back in, stand up. The objective is to just keep moving. Right? Because think about it, you're just in your living room. You didn't have to take all the time to get to the gym. Last one. All right, so now if you want, grab some water bottles as your hand weight. Now go ahead and lift one leg up, pull your navel to your spine, roll your shoulders back. We'll give you a nice stable base. Now go ahead, give you one curl, then a shoulder raise. Hands go up, squeeze those rhomboids back, push up, pull down. Fly in, and then release. Repeat. Push, squeeze, fly in, release. And you wanna bring so much purpose to each movement. Now if you lose your balance, just go ahead and switch feet, right? The focus here is your upper body. So I want you to really put a lot of focus into each movement, squeezing each muscle group for tone. And then you drop it. Finally, our last move, is a full body crunch. So you're gonna get back on the ground, extend your arms and your legs, and then crunch all the way in. Extend, crunch, extend, crunch. Now if you need to modify one leg, do three reps, and then switch. Extend, crunch. Here you're working not only the middle part of your tummy, but those obliques, right? Cinching in that waist getting ready for bikini season. I think it's an all year round endeavor, honestly. Out, and then you're done. So then you pop right back up to mountain climbers because we're gonna do the circuit twice, right? So maybe this time you find a little bit more speed because now you know what the action is, right? Or you slow it down and you increase the intensity of the contraction of the muscle, right? Nice. So keep going. Maybe you get kicked right back into it, and then you flip over, and you go for your bicycle crunches. Remember, it's shoulder to knee, shoulder to knee, keeping those shoulder blades off the floor. Modify, always an option. Remember, you're just trying to keep moving, right? That's why I always say lock and load, go through it. Whew. All right, now we're under our next one. Remember, it's a push-up 
with the side plank. As you come up, I know you're focused on your chest burning, but I really need you to focus on squeezing those rhomboids together because your chest is a really big muscle group and your rear delts and your rhomboids are what give you good posture. And they're smaller groups that have to pull against your pecs, right? So you're down and you're squeezing. Now you can always, again, just to keep moving, move to those knees, right? There you go. I always think if you put a little something in focus in front of your face, like right there on the mat, it'll get you lower, it'll keep you stronger. Let's get in two more, two more. That's one, two. Great, so remember, we don't have to move far to start our burpees, right? Crunching in, jumping up, in, up. Right now, you should feel winded. If you feel winded, why would you stop? This is why you're doing it, right? You could be sitting on the couch. You are in your living room, but you have a goal. You've turned on this video, and that's what's gonna get you to it, right? Whew. All right, so on to the next one, which is our upper body series. So when you feel fatigued, it's harder to find balance, but that's where you find the biggest stability in your core. So if you need a second to catch your breath, keep one toe on the ground. But remember, keep moving. That's the hard part. That's the part where you learn your own strength. So remember, with purpose, we do each movement as our heart rate comes down, and then you lift that leg right back in the game, right? Keeping it going, whatever you need to do. Toning up, no joke. It's little, little weights, lots of reps. Get your arms looking just like Kelly Ripa. No joke. All right, we're on to the final movement. Our full body crunch. On the ground you go. Hands and legs out. Crunch in, out, and crunch in. I always think about the cupcakes that I'm gonna eat at this moment in time. And how if I keep moving, I won't end up seeing them right here, right? Oh my goodness. My favorite is this chocolate salted caramel thing. Isn't that, I mean, every, that's what we think about when we're working out, right? Skinny jeans, chocolate cupcakes, bikinis, and relax. You made it. We made it! Oh my gosh. Okay, now it's time to go start your day, whatever you need to do. I know it's hard to get started, but once we're here, don't you feel so much better? We're gonna have more of these videos for you at the Self Channel. Tell us what you think about them. Tell us how you feel after them using the hashtag burn100. I'm Mary Rambin. You can find me everywhere online at Mary Rambin, and uh, let's do it again sometime, all right? Bye.